hash brown casserole on the flat top grill. We're loading it down with some jalapenos and cheese. Hey, we're taking potatoes on the flat top grill to another level. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you notice me smiling through this video, because I am like pumped. Look, this is what culinary is about. I know it's a simple recipe. I know there's a thousand versions out there, but when you can take something so good and elevate it just a little bit, plus you get to use your flat top grill, I don't know what else is better. So yesterday I was feeling around talking to my wife and I said, I'm tired of seeing like potatoes on the flat top grill. You buy them frozen, you buy them cubed. You can bake them. If you guys want to see the video, we've done our version of potatoes on the flat top grill. I'm like, how do you... God, how do you just elevate it? You guys know me. I just like good food. We came out with one. Hey, almost like the idea of the Cracker Barrel hash brown casserole, but we're going to make patties out of them and get them crispy on both sides. So it's like a combination of like scattered, smothered, and covered, and then a hash brown casserole in these. Let's go. You ready? Yep. They were good, wasn't they? They were good. All right. Here we go. Refrigerated hash browns. We got some shredded cheese. I'm going to put a little jalapeno in there for some pop. Some sour cream. A little bit of uh, cream of chicken. And the first things first, we got about a quarter onion right here. And I'm just going to soften these up. Since you're not baking it in the oven and cooking them very long, then I'm going to go ahead and get our onions about halfway, where we get them translucent, but I just want to get them softened. Both griddles right here, both sides of the grill is on a, like a medium heat. All right guys, remember, so we got these refrigerated hash browns. I haven't tried the frozen yet. I just thought, why go frozen? I'm a big fan of the refrigerated. All right, so let's see what we got here. You obviously can omit or add whatever you want when it comes to spice. Heck, you could add bacon. I even thought about crumble up some bacon and put it inside of this. But I wanted about, I don't know, a good portion of diced jalapenos. Me and my wife like it. Why not? All right, before I get too ahead of myself, I'm going to go ahead and season these potatoes up. And then I'm going to toss them a little bit to try to get that seasoning in the potatoes before we start mixing stuff together, okay? What kind of seasoning? Just a house blend of salt, pepper, and garlic. So it's uh, like a two part salt, one part pepper, one part garlic, all right? The potatoes can take a lot of uh, seasoning. So don't be scared to, to season. But I did wanna mix them before we get started on the wet ingredients. All right, we got, we're gonna use about a half a can. You guys noticed I've already used a half yesterday of this uh, chicken, Cream, cream of chicken. chicken. Yep, we're gonna use that. We're gonna use about equal parts of sour cream. Come back in here. We just got some sharp cheddar cheese. Yesterday we used the finely shredded. Today is just regular shredded. And I'm gonna throw in about a good cup full. She said she wanted more cheese in it, so we're gonna add a little bit more cheese. Now look. If we've learned anything from yesterday, here's a secret. Try to fold the ingredients in instead of smashing the ingredients in. It's going to keep the texture of the uh, of the casserole hash brown a lot more, how would you say it, um, normal. Instead yeah. of just like smashed potatoes. Like you don't want mashed potatoes. You want the, the strings to hang off and get ooh, all burnt. Mm. I'm you know what we're missing? That vinegar, you know, when you go to the, oh man, you get that vinegar with the peppers pepper in pepper vinegar from Cracker Barrel. If you could mix like Waffle House and Cracker Barrel up together, this is what we got. Throw a little Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity in there. <laughs> That's IHOP. I'm a comedian. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, let's show them what these onions look like. Do you think they could use frozen potatoes? I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. It'll be interesting to try. We are going to make a big batch and then freeze them. And I'll let you guys know in a couple weeks if anybody's interested. 
um, how they come out because we're gonna do a big breakfast and I'm gonna take them straight from frozen, thaw them out that night and put them right on the flat top and see what happens. Moment of truth, here we go. So I got this little silly ring. We bought it one day because we put eggs down on it, but it works perfect to put our hash browns on. So I'll put a little pat of butter down. And then what we're gonna do, show you two ways, show you with the mold and without the mold. Don't press too hard, but it gives you an idea of like, not necessarily porch control, but they're all uniform. That's probably what I'm looking for. See that? And just keep doing them. Pat of butter. And if you don't have one of those little fancy $3 gadgets, just take your butter. I like butter in this. Mm. And you're just going to form it right on the flat top. Just like that. <sighs> Take you just a little pat of butter. That way when you flip them, you got butter on the other side too. You ready? Let's see how we did, mama. Let's see. Winner, winner. Bad boys about done. I'm gonna take some off and I'll show you guys a little something something that we did yesterday. Just when you want to go the extra mile, just when you think you didn't add enough to the actual house browns themselves, just when you think, have I done enough? The answer is no, you haven't. Because now is when it gets good. More cheese, more jalapenos. Look at all them little cheese bits that's gonna pop up. Mm. Let's check under the hood, see how we did. Oh, oh, oh. Obviously, this is completely optional. Although that extra cheese and jalapeno is optional, guys, I'm gonna tell you what, 
If you're not making hash browns like this on your flat top, <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button. I'm about to chow down. Share it with your friends. Peace. Mm, that crunch.